It's sectional semifinal Friday night here in the Hoosier State for boys basketball, and there is no better place to start than Class 4A. You know what they say, to be the champs, you have to beat the champs. Carmel has won the last 4A titles, and the Greyhounds are going for lucky number three. Coach Ryan Osborne has his hounds humming in Noblesville tonight, and it was a great night for Carmel indeed. Pete Suter going through traffic with ease now. Down five, it is Miller's ball. Check this out. Aaron Fi with the beautiful baseline drive that goes around the rim and in to cut their deficit. But Greyhounds big in this one on the fast break. Sam Orme finishes things up with the dunk. The Hounds take control and stay out front. Carmel wins 64 to 41. They came out with some fire early, some confidence. They're playing well, doing a lot of good things. Proud of our guys for sticking with it. They, they go on a run, settled ourselves, and, and kind of got ourselves back in the game of possession at the time. And felt like we came out in the second half with just more, more stable. Field upset Fishers earlier this week. Braden Smith, a huge reason why. A whopping 28 points for the Shamrocks for him. Smith with it. He gets back. He's feeling lucky from the top of the key. Three of his 22 points on the night. Matt Painter should be excited to what he is getting soon. HSC's turn, and they're making the most of their time. Sam Jacobs gets the lob down low for two, but Smith and the Shamrocks just keep shaking. Smith to Cam Hafter, 24 points. A team high for him. Westfield wins it easy. 77-50 is your final. The McRivals, Lawrence North and Warren Central meeting again tonight. CJ Gunn back from a suspension and on fire today. He buries three five threes in the first half. Yeah. He scores 26 of Lawrence North's 34 first half points alone, but the Wildcats only lead by one in the third quarter. This one belongs to Warren's Dante Davis for the basket and the foul. Game tied at 43 after three. Fourth quarter, Gunn breaks the tie with another long one. 38 total for him tonight. Then actually, Gunn misses this one. He is human. Omar Cooper Jr. is back with the putback. Later, Cooper slick feed to Danny Royster for the stuff. Lawrence North wins 65 to 60. Not being able to play last game, uh, just kind of put a little chip on my shoulder. So I came out here and I wanted to produce my team, and this is my last go at it. So I'm, I'm gonna give it everything I got. Tonight he's just growing up. That was a grown up. That was a grown up kid. Yeah, that wasn't a little kid. That was a grown up. Second game at North Central, round three of Cathedral and Artist in Old Tech this. Season and it was a good one. Reggie Bass off to a sensational start. He hits three three pointers to start the game. Tightens up nine nothing in the blink of an eye. But here come the Irish. Jake Davis with the corner triple. Cathedral is right back in this one. Later, Davis the bounce pass to Jackson Edwards. He puts it up and in. Cathedral wins 69 to 54. Southport and Perry Meridian going head to head at Bain Davis. The Cardinals up big at the break. Southport just keeps on. He keeps tacking it on. Keon Miller knocks down the jumper. He's made a name for himself. Perry Meridian and some Giants purple. They're coming back. Connor McNabb from the corner. One of many important triples tonight. Is that luck or a skill? It doesn't matter. Nickens Lemba makes the finish with ease for that one. Wesley Vanek hits the three to put the Falcons within three, but free throws make the difference for Southport. They win a close one, 38 to 33. Just really proud of them. I mean, it's a well-coached team over there. They're going to make you beat them, and we did. We made enough plays. We're going to have to play a good team tomorrow, whoever wins this game, and we're going to have to prepare like we have, and we're going to have to shoot the ball better. They'll play the winners of host Ben Davis, actually in purple, and Decatur Central. The Hawks starting out hot. Casey Berry gets it going for three. And now Zane Doty living up to the Giants' name. And this one for the big man, a three-point game for Ben Davis. He gets the end one. Barry putting his body into it gets the Decatur Central bucket. Ben Davis keeps things rolling off the inbounds. Carl Windham Jr. catch and shoot triple. And then Clay Butler, the third, a beautiful jumper. Ben Davis protects home court, defeating Decatur Central 38 to 40.